Hey YouTube, it's Alicia here. Hope everybody is having a good day. None other, I have a video. I have this wrestling video and then another one. And then I have another makeup tutorial I'm going to be doing. And maybe give y'all a look book. Maybe. We'll see. And thing. But overall, I want to come and give y'all this um progress report on wwe as i've been saying to my uh, one of my cousins i said i gotta do my progress report for wwe for 20 um since triple h took over so y'all know in the early in the year i gave my re progress report okay that was a good report since then i have so much of a um, this one is my mid season progress report, and I have a lot to say, so let's get started. So, first and foremost, um, when it comes to the progress report for the mid season for Triple H, in thing okay, some of the things I like what I see him doing, but then some of it he is failing at, so he gets a so he gets two grades one. He gets, when it comes to that men's division, he's getting a B plus. He's doing so good with that. I'm going to explain that. And then with the women's division in general, sorry, Triple H, I got to give you a D. So we're going to start off with the women's division and why he gets a D for the women's division. To me, I feel like the women's division, um, haven't produced to me, to me as a female wrestling content creator, to me have not produced not a good pro, not good programming with the women's division. Okay, let me just talk about the one good program that I felt like they did good at. They it was a pretty good program, and that was the Becky Lynch versus Damage Control. That was a good programming right there. And I feel like when he did that, that was a pretty good. But after that program, that that it was much fail and stuff. So let's talk about a couple of things. Okay, Charlotte Flair, every time she returns, so think about it, she returns back early, early 2023, um, 20, and she had too long, not too long ago, just return again. In both instances, she comes in and she gets handed title belt opportunities. And for so many years, I have told y'all to look how triple how Charlotte Flair is treated. And um, y'all know certain sometimes I give Charlotte Flair nicknames. You know, I give her gave her a nickname a couple years ago when she weaseled herself into a title belt match when it was just supposed to be um, Becky Lynch versus um, Oscar for the women's title belt. But um, Charlotte Flair weaseled herself into the in matches. So the only reason, anytime you hear me verbalize and call Charlotte Flair a weasel, it's for a reason. So to me... I really wish they would put Charlotte Flair at the back of the line and focus on the newest stars. People they brought back, like when they brought back Tegan Oz, I said, okay, finally. But we haven't hardly seen her on TV. We haven't hardly seen Emma on TV. Think about certain women they brought back that was, um, how do you say, released, fired a couple of years ago. Triple H haven't done nothing with them, but get put them on level up or main event. Now, one person in particular, you know, the fans or uh, certain fans on Twitter is getting behind, and that is Dana Brooks, and they want to see Dana Brooks get that top title belt. What they do, she's still on Raw, but they sent her to NXT. That's not good, Triple H, and that's the problem. You want certain people, your type of people, the Triple H people, to be mostly highly featured. This is the reason why you're getting a D for that women's division. The programming in the women's division has not been enough. To me, it's 
things you could have done to make that women's division div good. And I've been telling everybody the problem is with that women's division programming is what can a man write? What can a man on the creative team? You got mostly half of them are men. But you only have, you have Molly Holly and she ain't speaking up. And I'm, I'm bringing this into fray to say, what can a man writer write for a woman wrestler, for a woman's storyline, for a woman's feud? And it's not going to have a woman's touch. It's going to have a man's touch. So that's why I keep saying WWE needs. And I say, they need an all-women's writer's team. Y'all can agree with me or not, but that is where I say Triple H needs to be more focused on here on out, um, starting in August right now. Well, starting in September, let me just say, starting next month in September, going all the way to December, that he needs to be mostly focused on that women's division, making all those women that they are not using stars. And I, I like that they started trying to use Alina Vega and stuff, but I really feel like the one person who I feel like they kind of dropped the ball on, and y'all y'all can agree with me or not agree with me, is Meechin, a.k.a. Maya Yim. Maya Yim, if you think about her wrestling career, she has been champion at every promotion she has been in. If y'all remember her um, TNA days, she was a women's champion. WWE needs to be cashing in on that, that she was a, she's a formal champion and and start pushing her more to get her in that women's title belt contention. I wouldn't be too surprised at the women's Royal Rumble. They allow her to um to end that. Okay. Moving we're gonna still stay on the women's division a little bit. As y'all know, everybody had has made comments about the women's tag team division, you know um, at the, and I really feel like this is what I feel when it comes to that women's title, title belt. The women's tag team title belts haven't had good luck of women holding those titles since Naomi and Sasha Banks relinquished those title belts and walked out. Y'all know I'm telling some truth. It might be some truth to it. Women have not had good luck. If you think about it, it has been title belts, uh, women getting hard, getting injured. We just heard about Sonya Deville had to go last this past week, week before. Yeah, this past week, she had to go and have surgery. So Chelsea Green has now replaced her with Piper Niven. And Piper Niven is all of a sudden champion. How does that work, Triple H? Fix that. Okay, so let's move on to the men. I feel like the men's division for 2023 has gave us some pretty good matches. And with the men's division, I men and men tag team division, I have to give that a, a, a successful B+. plus. He, he gets a B plus for that because he's been mostly considering being more concerned about the men's division. And that's, and that's why I feel like the women's division is lackluster and stuff but we'll get come back to the women's tag the title belts um the two women's title belts but overall i think the storyline with the men's division has done well we have some pretty good storylines that we have gotten in the year and thing um we probably be getting randy orton or bray wyatt as soon as um bray wyatt is cleared we know we we'll probably finally get him to return. And I'm, with the question with um, Bray Wyatt is, is he going to pick up his storyline with Bobby Lashley again or not? So we have to be worried about that. But overall, the men's division has done pretty well. But I really feel like from here on out, I think WWE need to be more concerned with that women's division. But the other thing I really feel like coming back to that women's division, we need to ask this. Okay, we have the WWE Women's Championship. They kind of revamped it, but it was sort of like lackluster. But then the title belt that Rhea Ripley won, 
they turned it into the women's heavyweight championship. Excuse me, Triple H. Where you get that idea from? Because I know you didn't come up with it, I, that idea on your own. And I know the writers team did not come up with that on your own. Because if I can remember uh, 9 to 10 to 11 months back, I think I was the one who was talking about, oh, they need a women's um heavyweight title belt. You taking something from my Twitter page now? But I digress. You can have it. But don't let it happen again, Triple H. All I'm saying, y'all, is I'm giving Triple H two grades with this. He gets a B plus when it comes to that men's division. They're doing pretty well. But that women's division gets a D because that programming is not so good. We are not getting good programming. And I think everybody will agree with me. We need to see a, a new face for that women's division and everything. We don't want to always see Charlotte Flair in the forefront of the company. I'm ready to see him give Tegan Knox that opportunity. I'm ready to see him give Dana Brooks that opportunity. I've been saying that for years. Dana Brooks is owed that. They owe Dana Brooks a women's heavyweight title belt. But I'm really going to say... The problem when it comes to that women's tag team division, I believe after Sasha Banks and um, Sasha Banks and Naomi left, it kind of gave the women's division tag team titles the unluckiness. And I mentioned it, the women's tag team division titles has been unlucky. Okay, recently, probably about a month ago, Triple H decided to merge the um, main roster women's tag team titles with NXT women's tag team titles. That was their big mistake as well. So now we got to understand this. Why would they do that? So let me hear y'all. Do y'all agree with the Triple H mid-season, mid-year, let me just say, mid-year progress report and do y'all think some of the things i said is bring some valid to this um progress report until then i'm alicia don't forget to thumbs up this video comment below and subscribe to my channel bye